Hello, George here, amateur radio call sign Sierra Papa 6 Golf Kilo. Today I would like to show you super high terrain radio receiver designed and built by myself. I have used only scrap materials from my workshop and parts from a 1950s uh, radios that were not worth restoring. Input coil and oscillator coil was wound by myself though. Let's listen to a long wave. A uh, probe of the oscilloscope is put close to the output of the IF amplifier. Whole set was designed in an Art Deco style. Uh, this radio is a very simple super hydrogen receiver with no automatic gain control and only one band, that is long wave, which should cover from 150 kHz to 350 kHz. But my local oscillator has much wider span. What's more, input network does not track oscillator properly. So I have tuned the local oscillator and input filter in such a way that it produces correct IF when the radio is receiving Polish Radio 1 that is a station at 225 kHz. Although IF is not constant as it should be, I have managed to pick up some other station when the conditions were right. Uh, Polish Radio 1 is only one station on a, a long wave that I listen from time to time anyway. My design uses three tubes, that is ECH81, uh, which is a triode and heptode, respectively local oscillator and mixer, EBF89, uh, IF amplifier and detector, uh, it consists of two diodes uh, and a uh, pentode, uh, and ECL86, uh, which is first and second stage audio amplifier. Local oscillator is a Hartley type, uh, coil is hidden underneath the brass sheet which uh, acts as a shielding. Input coil is wound on a form of a much higher diameter in order to achieve higher Q, which is nice for a more narrow filter. Both ground and antenna are necessary for this radio in order to induce any current in the input filter. There are two IF filters uh, with typical for this type of construction inductive coupling. AMF detector is also very typical. Last stage is audio amplifier uh, with triode and a pentode. The last important element is output transformer which reduces uh, high impedance of an audio tube to a low impedance of a speaker. Empty hole on the right side of the front panel is left for experimental purposes, for instance gain control, which can be added in the future. Power supply uses transformer with central tap and a full bridge rectifier followed by a filter. Power supply unit provides 6.3 volts for filament and about 240 volts uh, DC under load for anode. It is also housing for a speaker of the radio. Unfortunately, during testing I realized that first IF transformer is probably damaged 
uh, somewhere in the windings and when I poke it, it usually causes the radio to go silent and I need to wiggle it uh, back and forth in order to make a connection again. Uh, because of that and more difficult than I expected access to some components, the uh, purpose of this experiment was to uh, test different input coils, oscillator, uh, tube settings, biasing and stuff like that, I have decided to abandon this project and focus on a new uh, version built on a metal chassis to reduce hum, uh, add better shielding and have more room for testing and other uh, RF related circuits from the past. Although this radio is not perfect, uh, I think it looks uh, rather okay on the shelf, so I will probably keep it. In the future I'm gonna show you a new version of my super head and a loop antenna that is uh, visible on some pictures and was also designed as a part of this 1920s radio set. Thank you very much for watching.